Shalaki, Aki, and Esau turned off the camera, man. But back to what I was saying. Back to what the scriptures were saying. This is the book of Luke, uh, Luke chapter 11, verse 27. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company, or crowd, lifted up her voice and said unto him, to him of all Yahweh, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps, or which means breast, which thou hast sucked, or breast which thou that nursed thee. You know? And um, that woman was pretty much exalting the women, man, exalting Mary, man. You know? Blessed is the womb that, 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 that bare thee, man. You know? You know how women are, man. If it wasn't for your mother, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't be on this earth right about now, man. You know? But let's see if Lord Yahusha exalted his mother, man. Or let's see if he exalted his father, which is a man. Verse 28. And, but he, that he is talking about Lord Yahusha, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But he said, Yea, it's like the, Yea, rather blessed or happy are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it right. So who's going to do that right about now, man? The elect men, man. Now you got a few, you got a few sisters that trying to follow, try to follow the scriptures to the best of their abilities. But right now, it's all about the men of our nation, man. It's all about the one to the forty-four thousand, the elect, man, and all about Lord Yahusha ultimately, man. You know, coming back and getting his revenge, man. Which Lord Yahusha is a man, you know. Yahweh exalted his only begotten son, you know. He, you know what I'm saying. You know, and Lord Yahweh is going to exalt his 144,000 of his men. You know? So it's all about the men of our nation, you know? I just wanted to bring out a few precepts through the Spirit. I didn't even have these written down. I just wanted to bring that out. That's how the Spirit is. Um, this is the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. Right? It's talking about the... The men of the Lord that he chooses, man. Because like St. John chapter 15, verse 16, Lord Yahweh shall say, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, man. You know? So the script this is the this is the backup that statement that Lord Yahweh Shah said, you know. It says, uh, Proverbs 8 and 4 again, unto you, O men I call. See, it's, this thing is about men. The men of the Lord are gonna guard unto the highways the Bible is diligently week in and week out, in season, out of season, man. And proclaim the downfall and destruction um, of this simple wicked kingdom called America, man. You know, to preach the downfall and destruction of this kingdom, man. You know, and compel the elect to come into this marriage, man. You know, and my voice is to the sons of men, right? And what's the voice of the Lord, his men that he set up, man? You know, and his voice, which is the men of the Lord, is going to go and um, gather the, the, the spirit of the elect, man. Because it's, it's a spiritual thing right about now, man. If this spirit bear witness with this Bible, man, there is a light, man, you know, and Lord Yahweh is going to use his men to bid the, the, the elect in, man, you know, it's like Matthew 22 and 9 says, man, uh, you know, go to the highways and hedges and compel the elect, uh, compel them to bid them to come to the marriage, man, that's talking about the men of the Lord going out there to the highways and byways and bringing in fruit, man, which is the, um, the elect, the whole four elect men that joined this ministry, man, and pushed his word. You know, so uh, let me see. Uh, it's all about the it's all about the men right about now, man. It's all about the men anyway. This is the book of Matthew. You know, it's like this is the book of Isaiah, chapter thirteen, verse twelve. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man. <coughs> Slack, yeah. ah, this is the book of Isaiah thirteen twelve. I will make a man more precious than <coughs> fine gold, even a man that than a golden wedge of Ophir. Right, which means the men of the Lord, man, the elect men of the Lord, man, who the Lord is dealing with, man, have that uh that mark of exemption, which is the uh, the knowledge of the scriptures, man. He's gonna exalt them in that day, man. You know. You know, and if they be the elect, man, they're gonna be on the twelve throne. will be on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man, the nation of Israel. You know, 
So that's what man is talking about. Men of the Lord. And man has been diligently in season, out of season, uh, preaching his word, man. You know? That's what it's talking about. That's who the Lord is going to make finer than gold, man. Because the man, because once the famine of the famine of the uh, word hit, once the dollar collapses, man, money not going to be anything around here, man. Which is probably not in a day of judgment, man. So a man of the Lord is going to be precious than money, man. And you already know how these women love money, love diamonds, right? So in that day, women going to be all over us, man. Like that Apostle Gabar said, man, we're going to need a big old cheek man to get these women off of us soon come, man. You know? So it's all good. So, hey, man, with that, Lord, when this video was edifying for y'all, consider it as watching the spirit. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, And next up, the bars for our apostle, it was a great millstone. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to the Yachims out there who has pushed the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities. In the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash, what are people here for there? With that, Shalom.